production of Freeze Frame. Freeze Frame. Yes, we Remember that are. song, Freeze Frame? Dun, 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 Freeze Frame! Freeze frame! Steve's much better singer than I am. <laughs> I don't know if he got that from my singing, but... But she's better looking than I am. Anyways, we are going to be sharing more about the miracles of Jesus yes. and how Jesus showed his power. Yes, the power. Speaking of power, Trish. Yeah. Uh, does anyone want to see a cool power that I have? Ooh, you got a power steam. I do. Yeah. Uh, would you believe that with one small command, I can raise this ping pong ball into the air without touching it? Uh, I don't really believe that, no. Well, it, prepare to be amazed. So, before I do this, I must put a face on it, just because we can. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We'll do a nice big smile. Maybe you should call him Wilson. Wilson? Yes. I think we should call him Stephen. All right. Yes, that works. All right, and there we go. I don't know if everybody can see that. Probably not, but that's okay. He's got a face. Now, Mr. Ping Pong Ball. We haven't met before, have we? If, if that is the case, and we have not met, say nothing. There you go. There you have it. We have not met. All right, now, here we go. Without further ado, I am going to tell this ping pong ball with one command to lift up, to okay. get up. I All would right. love to see it. All right, here we go. Ping pong ball, I say to you, get up. Hmm. Hmm. Um, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think maybe you didn't hear me. I just gotta speak it louder, that's all. All right, this should work. I don't, okay, let's try it again. Ping pong ball, I say to you, get up! Uh, Steve, I don't think it's really uh, doing oh, what you're asking. No, no, hold on. Uh, maybe he's just like, I didn't put any ears on him, so he might be having a hard time hearing us. Okay, so why don't you say it with me? We'll say it really loud, and maybe I think that'll do it. He's just having hard of hearing. He's hard of hearing. Okay. Okay, all right, let's try it together. One, two, three. Ping pong ball! ball. I say, say to, to you, you, get up! Hmm. Huh. Well, Steve, you know what? Let's watch the story where Jesus does raise somebody with just one command. I don't understand it at all. Roll it. Huh. Jesus heals Jairus' daughter. Jesus sailed with his disciples to the other side of the sea. When he got there, a man named Jairus fell at his feet. Jairus had tears in his eyes, and he said, My little girl is dying! <laughs> please, please, Jesus, come and heal her! <laughs> so Jesus went with him. As Jesus was walking to Jairus' house, a huge crowd of people followed him. One of the people was a woman who had been sick and suffering for 12 years. She had spent every last penny on doctors, but no one could make her better. When she saw Jesus, she thought, Maybe if I just touch his clothes, I'll be healed. So that's what she did. And immediately her sickness and suffering went away. I'm better, I guess, feeling so better. When the woman touched Jesus' clothes, Jesus could feel the power had gone out of him. So he turned around and asked, Who touched my clothes? Jesus' disciples couldn't figure out why he was asking that. The crowd was pressed all around him. Lots of people had touched his clothes. Still, Jesus kept looking to see who had done it. The woman knew that Jesus was looking for her. She shook with fear, but told Jesus the whole truth. When he heard what had happened, Jesus said, Your faith has healed you. You are now free from your suffering. Just then, some people came from Jairus' house and said, Jairus, your daughter is dead. Jesus said, Don't be afraid, Jairus. Just have faith. When they got to Jairus' house, Jesus could hear all the people wailing and crying inside. 
So he went in and said, Why are you so sad? The girl isn't dead. Just sleeping. When the people heard what Jesus said, they laughed at him. <laughs> He's crazy. Because they thought he was nuts. That didn't stop Jesus, though. He took the girl by the hand and said to her, Little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately, the girl came to life again. She stood up and began walking around like she had just gotten up from a nap. <laughs> you are so good. When everyone saw what Jesus did, they were shocked. <gasps> they had never seen anything like it. Because of Jairus' faith in Jesus, his daughter was alive again. Wow, Trish! I am blown away by all our Minecraft videos, and especially this one today, Jesus raising that little girl from the dead. What an incredible story. It's amazing that he raised somebody from the dead. I know, and that, lived. and that wasn't the only time he did that. I know there's wow. at least a couple other times where that happened. Incredible. Incredible. It's like that That little girl was like, like our ping pong ball. Just move, and she wouldn't move. But Jesus came along. And Jesus said to that little girl, Hey, little girl, get up! And she got up! Oh, Steve, you did it! I told you I could do it. I knew it! <laughs> you raised cool. that ping pong! Yes! And now it's nice and warm. Wow, that's oh. amazing, Steve. Oh. But you know what? Jesus didn't need a hair dryer. No, he I don't. He just had to say the word, and the little girl came to life I know, it's again. Incredible. And did you know that if you have Jesus in your heart, you've got the Holy Spirit living in you, you have the same power in you to do what Jesus has done. That's right. Did you know I have a story? Yeah. So, a uh, number of years ago, we had a pet goldfish. Mm. And this goldfish, he was a good friend of Lucy's. Yeah. Lucy was probably what, two or three? She was pretty little. She was pretty little. And we got this goldfish and it, it was only a couple weeks and that goldfish, I came in one day and the goldfish was floating on the top of the bowl. And that's not a good sign for a goldfish. It was belly up and let's just say it as it was, Steve, it was dead. It was dead. And you know what? We prayed for that goldfish because well, Lucy, Lucy was heartbroken. Lucy actually prayed. Yes. Lucy prayed that the goldfish would come back to life. And you know what happened? That goldfish, I came back the next day, and that goldfish was alive. It was swimming in I don't know head. how it happened, but that goldfish was alive. It actually went on to live months after that. Yes. I kind of was like wondering when it would die again because it, it was getting a little bit old and I, I think a little it, bit smelly. I think it did die again and it Lucy did. raised it to life again. But it, she yes, she prayed and that fish was definitely dead and it came back to life. Yeah. It was pretty amazing actually. Oh. Yeah, and that's just like the faith of a child and also, again, ha knowing that you have God's power inside of you. So remember, if you are around someone that is sick and not well, Pray for them. That's right. Pray in the name of Jesus because God may very well heal them. I always pray for healing because you know what? You might witness a healing right before your very you own eyes. You might see the miracle. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've seen miracles ourselves. So. Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes sometimes people don't get healed. That is, That does happen, right? But that doesn't mean that God doesn't heal them. There's, there's people up in heaven that God has healed. You know, it reminds me of our memory verse for today, mm -hmm. right? It's from Revelation 21 verse 4 and it says, He will wipe away away every tear from their eyes there will be no more death and there will be no more sadness there will be no more crying or pain mm. and that's revelation 21 verse 4 so you know whether god chooses to heal people here or whether he chooses to heal them in heaven either way they're going to be in a great spot and god is going to answer that prayer yeah, but I want to encourage you. If you know someone that is sick, I want to encourage you to pray for them. I want to encourage you to pray for healing for them. Yeah. As well, you know what? You can practice even praying on things that look like they are appear to be dying, like plants, goldfish. Pray that they'll be brought back to life in the name of Jesus. And you might see your plants revived. 
Can I pray that for my your flowers, for my car, your fish, your car, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Practice praying for God's power to That's work right. through you in That's the right. name of Jesus. That's right. Awesome. All right. So you know what? We've been doing freeze frame. Yeah. You know what? You didn't get frozen this time. I know. You I must have not been playing with the freeze machine. I know. I, I, I had a hair dryer instead. I think it melted everything. Oh. I was like playing with a hair dryer. Okay, well, you know what, Steve? I'm going to make that up to you with today's challenge. Uh-oh. Because you didn't get frozen during the story, uh -oh. I'm I'm pretty sure when you do today's challenge, you are going to get frozen. Uh-oh. I think I've got something that makes me to help prepare for that. Mm. Are you guys ready? All right. All right. Challenge time. I'm going to win. Let's do it. Hey, and welcome to this week's challenge, keeping in theme with our freeze frame. We are doing a slushy challenge, yes. which is going to be freezing cold, and we have everybody from our family this week partaking in this challenge. Are you ready, guys? So you will I notice this. that me and Steve have the jumbo size slushies, where the kids have a little smaller, so they have an advantage. The first one to finish their slushy wins. So you want to be drinking this as fast as you possibly can. And you'll notice also some of us, well, actually all of us have hats on our heads because there's a good chance we're going to get brain freeze. I'm ready. And I've some of us are on. overdressed. I got my gloves on. I'm ready. My <laughs> long yes. johns are on. What? What? Long underwear. And you think That's we're going outside to the Arctic, but we are right. not. We are in our kitchen. So are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Let's do a countdown from five. Bye. Five, four, three, two, one, go! I really hope you guys slip tonight. Oh man, you guys are gonna be wound. You're gonna be hyper. Uh, no yeah. hyperness. Then why are you giving oh, up my head? Alright, I gotta take my gloves off. I can't stir it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to that's stir it. That's not my brain that's feeling it. I'm gonna try warming up. Because your brain can't, can't feel the pain. Oh, the pain! <laughs> it's getting so cold! Oh, my belly. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be sick after drinking this. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Ah! Brain freeze! Ow! 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 Woo! Ow! I don't oh. like Is it possible to get brain freeze in your belly? Actually, not your brain that's getting the brain freeze because your brain can't feel pain. What? Yeah, your brain can't feel pain. Who said? Uh, I learned that like last year. Mm. <laughs> not only are you getting a challenge, you're getting a science lesson from Lucy. Yeah! <laughs> I got a new strategy. Here's my strategy. What are you doing? I know. New strategy. It's still going to be cold. Friction on the outside. Warm it up. I see someone that's almost done. It's incredible. Oh, I know. It's Nathan. Are you done? He's done. Seriously? Throw the camera. Thank you. What? I that, can't believe it. That was torture. Nate, I was like, that. we're no, going to have to dump this. It's taking forever. Nate is the winner. Like what? Wow. So there you guys have it. There's the slushy challenge, and we've got our winner this week, Nathan. Stay tuned for the consequence. <laughs> He gets to do. Is it? He gets to choose. He gets to choose Wait, who what? he wants to do the consequence to, and he gets to do the consequence to the person. Get so the consequence oh. is. Listen. A whipped cream pie in the face. Oh, but I want to have that instead. Okay. No, so I'm gonna, he's going for Mark. So, Nadie, who do you want to take the consequence? Um, Lucy. What? <laughs> So Lucy gets a pile of face and you get to do it. 
All right, so we have the consequence to the Slurpee Challenge. Nathan is the winner of the Slurpee Challenge today. We drank that really fast. I'm really grateful for that. I understand. And Lucy is the one of the ones that did not win, and Nathan has chosen her to have the consequence today, which is whipped cream face. So, in a few seconds, we're gonna witness this. I'm gonna get it out of the way, so Nate, you can put that whipped cream right into your sister's face. All right, here we go. Wait, have some bum, great shot of me, don't do it. Bum. Bum, wait, wait, bum, bum. any last words? Have some grace on me. <laughs> Five, four, three, no. two, two, one. one. <laughs> 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 Ten more seconds. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Come here, I'll let me see. I don't have my nose. I got the, I got the, I got the. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Lucy, why do I have whipped cream on me? Yeah, the winner. <laughs> oh wait, Nathan the winner, Lucy the consequencer. Why me? Loser. Mm. <laughs> so join us again yeah. next week for another show, another series of freeze frame, and we hope you enjoyed this one. Bye. Hey, oh, come here, and I can begin. Oh, oh. Oh. That little girl was like our ping pong ball. Just sitting there, wouldn't move. And all it took was for Jesus to say, little girl, get up. I'm coming over. All right.